Hi guys, welcome to my EFL class with me, Teacher Esther. Today, we are going to learn about the simple form of English structure, simple present. Simple present is very common to be used. We use it to talk about facts or true things, schedule or daily routines and habits. It's called simple present because it's very simple. When we are talking about I, well, that is very simple. You just need to add the base verb. For example, I go, I walk, I sleep, I eat. And the same way for you, we, and they. For example, you go, we go, they go. But it will be more difficult when we are talking about he, she, it. For this pronoun, he, she, it, we need to add s in the end of the verb that we use. For example, she eats, he eats, it eats. Another example, a dog lives in my yard a dog it so it lives in my yard misha and larissa live in us misha and larissa they they live in us about 10 million people live in seoul about 10 million people they so they live in seoul a king lives in a palace a king, he, so he lives in a palace. Now, how to state about something that is not true? Well, for this time, we, we need to use negative sentence. Negative sentence is a sentence that states that something is false or not true. In English, we create negative sentences by adding the word not after the auxiliary or the helping verb. Helping verbs for simple person are do and does. So when we want to make a negative sentence, we use do not or don't or does not, doesn't, depends on the subject. If the subject is I, you, we, they, then we use do not or don't. For example, I don't like to dance. You don't like to dance. We don't like to dance. Like that. But if the subject is he, she, it, then we use doesn't, does not. For example, he doesn't like to dance. She doesn't like to dance. Another example. A dog doesn't like to dance. A dog. It. So, it doesn't like to dance. Misha and Larissa, they. Misha and Larissa don't like to dance. About 10 million people, they. About 10 million people don't like to dance. A king. He, a king doesn't like to dance. Try to always remember that after does, it must be followed with the base verb. For example, doesn't like, doesn't eat. Try to remember that. Now, how to make a question using simple present? Now, it's time to learn about the interrogative sentence. What is that? Interrogative sentence is a sentence that we use to ask direct question. And it must be ended with question mark. Simple interrogative sentence in simple present, do or does must be placed in the beginning of the sentence. Then, it must be followed by the subject and the base verb. Questions with do or does usually requires a yes or no answer. Example, 
Do you eat breakfast? Yes, I do. Do they eat breakfast? No, they don't. Do we eat breakfast? Yes, we do. Does she eat breakfast? Yes, he does. Does she eat breakfast? No, she doesn't. Does it eat breakfast? Yes, it does. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoy your time studying. Don't forget to practice. See you next time. Bye.